Cheers, everyone, and this is Instant Screaming, the show where I try to help you answer the eternal question. What do I want to watch online tonight? Today, I have for you a tale of two movies, fairly alike in premise, very different in execution. First up is Last Shift. Now this has pretty wide instant streaming distribution. You should be able to find it on Amazon. I think I've seen it on, on Prime. It, it's pretty much everywhere. So the basic premise of Last Shift here is that there's a fairly rookie police officer and she has to spend the night in a mostly abandoned police precinct that's about to be shut down. In fact, she happens to have the Last Shift guarding the building. But um so basically, all the phones have been rerouted to the new precinct, most of the files have been moved, most of the appliances have been moved, the building is more or less gutted. And she basically just has to sit there for one final night, make sure nobody accidentally calls directly to the old number, and make sure nobody breaks in and steals all the filing cabinets and whatever random stuff they happen to have lying around. But of course, since this is a horror movie, Things have to go wrong. You can't just have a quiet last shift guarding this bend police precinct. So she starts getting weird panicked phone calls and starts getting a lot of, uh, you know, she starts having hallucinations and seeing things. And she slowly uncovers this mystery that people have been talking about in the police station. It's been kind of like an in rumor among the people that work there that it's haunted because of the ghosts of a cult that committed suicide in the building. And it gets trippy as hell. Uh, and it's very, very scary. The the hallucinations, the uh, the actual scare sequences and the special effects when she has the hallucinations look incredible and are just mind-blowingly screwed up and creepy. It is a great movie to watch. Everything builds together to a very satisfying climax. It's a twist that you see coming kind of a mile and a half away it's still satisfying to watch it play out. It's not like, oh, well, now I know what they're going to do, so I don't actually have to watch. It's just like, I know what they're going to do, but it'll be fun. So I definitely recommend that you check out Last Shift if you are looking for a really screwed up, dark ghost story. It's good. And then on the flip side of the coin, we have another movie that took the same basic idea and didn't do quite as well with it. The second movie that I have for you today is called Abandoned Dead. Now you should be able to find this on Amazon Prime. And Abandoned Dead does star uh, in the lead role one of the actresses from Splatter Disco. I picked this up at a Chiller Theater a couple of years ago. And if you can find it, it is funny. <laughs> Slasher musical. I know there's another one out, but I haven't had a chance to see it, but this is great. This is pure, low budget, almost trauma style cheese without the vulgarity. So very similar to Last Shift, the premise of Abandoned Dead is that instead of a police officer, it's a security officer, and instead of a police precinct, it's some sort of health clinic in a very bad part of town. So the security officer has to spend the night guarding the clinic to make sure nobody basically breaks in and steals drugs or steals patient files, defiles it in any way, does anything stupid like that. The problem is that she happens to be nyctophobic, so when the health clinic starts having power problems and weird random noise problems and when she starts getting alternating threatening and panicked phone calls and she starts seeing crazy shit happening she starts to kind of unravel a little bit for the budget and for the level of production in this movie all of that inside the police station is handled surprisingly well when it stays there for a while it does manage to build a fairly decent atmosphere but the problem is that the whole movie up to that point is paced horribly and even in that that point it's it's paced very badly there are very very many scenes that go on for for too long and a lot of scenes that didn't even really need to be there um there's a whole side plot there's a whole b plot in this movie about a police like a a, a private detective who almost seems to be in the wrong genre i i, I swear this guy accidentally wandered out of a modern noir movie uh, and just happen to, to, to roll in here. You'll be going along and they'll be doing a lot of crazy stuff in the, in the clinic with the security guard and then all of a sudden this guy's at a payphone in his trench coat and he's monologuing in voiceover and it just completely takes you out. And then you'll go back and there'll be a weird scene where the security guard regaining her composure and it'll just 
feel awkward. So a final problem with Abandoned Dead is that the last act of the movie ends up being a bit overstuffed because they end up not knowing which plot to deal with because they've had kind of too many to begin with, so they sort of shove everything together and then it all just goes haywire. So when they do what their actual kind of interesting twist is, it's not nearly as cool of a reveal as they think it should be. Which is just a bit of a bummer, because for the, the budget that they had and for the production and for the level of production values that they had, this could have been a good movie with a better edit. If they'd gotten rid of some of the subplots and tightened up the scenes, it could have also been another great mind-trippy ghost story. But there you go, there's two movies for you. One that's pretty good and one that's not quite as good. So uh, thanks for watching Instant Screaming, everybody. I hope this helps you out answering that eternal burning question. And you find some good horror to watch tonight. If you have any movies you want to see on Instant Screaming or Modern Horror, leave a comment below and I'll take a look at it. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you want more. And if you want to support either of the two shows, we do have a Build Environment Patreon campaign. So if you're feeling generous, you can contribute to that for... Uh, for some sort of reward. We don't know yet. Check it out. Cheers, folks.